What is up book nerds? My name is Hillary and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a more like a little book haul that I've gotten the past couple of weeks in January but I'm finally filming this video for you. But before I get into the books don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe with that notification bell and you'll be the first to know when I am posting and let's get right on in to all the books that I have gotten the past couple of weeks. So the first two books that I've got are ones that I bought from Pango Books. Um, I know Sahar is doing a read along with these books and I'm hoping to get the first one read sometime before that live show. And those books are Rhapsodic and A Strange Hymn, both by Laura Dalasa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I'll read what's on the back of the first one because I don't want to be spoiled with the second one, but it says Calypso Lilis is a siren with a big, very big problem, one that stretches up her arm and far into her past. For the last seven years, she's been collecting a bracelet of black beads up her wrist, magical IOUs, for favors she's received. Only death is repayment or repayment will fulfill the obligations only then will the beads disappear. Everyone knows that if you need a favor, you go to the bargainer to make it happen. He's a man who can get you anything you want at a price, and everyone knows that sooner or later he always collects. But one of his clients, he's never asked for repayment. Not until now, when Callie finds the Fae King of the night in her room, a grin on his lips and a twinkle in his eye, she knows things are about to change. At first, it's just a cha chast chast day kiss, a single bead's worth, and a promise for more. For the bargainer, it's more than just a matter of rekindling an old romance. Something is happening in the other world. Fey warriors are going missing one by one. Only the women are returned, each in a glass casket, a child clutched to their breast. And then there are the whispers among the slaves, whispers of an evil that's been awoken. If the bargainer has any hope to save his people, he'll need the help of the siren he spurned long ago. Only his foe has a taste for exotic creatures, and Callie just happens to be one. I have heard great things about these books, and I've heard they are obviously paranormal romance with a little bit of spiciness in, in them. And I'm excited to read these two and hopefully get the rest of the series because I believe there's four books in this series and I'm excited to read them. The next book is, I believe it's three books in one and these are like little novellas and that book is Loath to Love You by Allie Hazelwood. I love Allie Hazelwood's writing. It's very easy to get through. And they're good for if you just want a little bit of a romance and to get you out of a reading slump. But this one has Under One Roof, Stuck With You, and Below Zero in this book. And it says for Under One Roof, an environmental engineer discovers that scientists should never cohabitate when she finds herself stuck with the roommate from hell. A dis detestable big oil lawyer who won't leave the thermostat alone. And then Stuck With You says, a civil engineer and her nemesis take their rivalry and love to the next level when they get stuck in a New York elevator. And then Below Zero is a NASA aerospace engineer frozen heart melt as she lies injured and stranded at a remote Arctic research station and the only person willing to undertake the dangerous rescue mission is her longtime rival. I, like I said, I love Allie Hazelwood's writing and I love the enemies to lovers aspect with a little bit of science in there and it just, it's so interesting how she writes these stories and she has a little bit of spicy parts in her books and it's like a little sprinkle and that's what I love about it and I'm excited to get to these because they just seem short, sweet, and easy to get through. So these next books that I bought are ones that I got from Books A Million when I went shopping with my mom last weekend and I kind of splurged a little bit but I got four books from there and these two that I'm going to talk about are a duology and those two are 
Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves, both by Mary E. Pearson. I've heard a lot about these books and I've been kind of getting FOMO from not reading them. But it says on the back, a formidable outlaw family that claims to be the first among nations, a son destined to lead, thrust suddenly into power. Three fierce young women of the Rotten, the Queen's premier guard, a legendary street thief leading a mission determined to prove herself, a dark secret that is a threat to the entire continent when outlaw leader meets reformed thief, a cat and mouse game of false moves ensues bringing them intimately together in a battle that may cost them their lives and their hearts. These just sound different than what I usually read. I mean, it sounds like there's a little bit of fantasy aspect in it, but the whole outlaw is what's really getting me. And these covers are gorgeous. I absolutely love them. And I can't wait to get to these. Maybe I'll do a reading vlog reading both of these books sometime, maybe next month because I have a lot going on this month. But yeah, I'm excited to get to these two books and to see what I think about them. These next two books I'm going to be talking about are both by the same author, but they are both standalones. And the first one I got is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I have heard nothing but great things about this. And I am excited to read this because I've been wanting to for a while. But it says, uh, high school sophomores Abby and Gretchen have been best friends since fourth grade. But after an evening of skinny dipping goes dangerously wrong, Gretchen begins to act different. She's moody, she's irritable and bizarre. Incidents keep happening when, whenever she's nearby. Abby's investigation leads her to some startling discoveries. And by the time their story reaches its terrifying conclusion, the fate of Abby and Gretchen will be determined by a single question. Is their friendship powerful enough to beat the devil? This, I, first of all, I love this cover because it really reminds me of the old VHS tapes that you got. And it's just very nostalgic. And I'm all about reading about people being taken over by demons or anything like that. And Grady Hendrix writing is you either love it or you don't. That's all I can say. I've read his, oh, The Southern's Book Guide to Slaying Vampires. I believe that's what it's called. I'll put a picture up on the screen. But I really enjoyed that one. And I'm excited to get to this one. And maybe I'll get to it this summer because it's more of a summer horror book. And the next book that I got by Grady Hendrix is his newest book. And that is... How to Sell a Haunted House. This is his brand new release that just came out in the middle of January and I'm excited to get to this one. And it says, when Louise finds out that her parents have died, she dreads going home. She doesn't want to leave her daughter with her ex and fly to Charleston. She doesn't want to deal with her family home. Stuffed, in, stuffed to rafters with the remnants of her father's academic career and her mother's lifelong obsession with puppets and dolls, she doesn't want to learn how to live without the two people who knew and loved her best in the world. Most of all, she doesn't want to deal with her brother Mark, who never left their hometown, gets fired from one job after another, and resents her success. Unfortunately, she'll need to he'll, she'll need his help to get to to get the house ready for sale, because it'll take more than some new paint on the walls and clearing out a lifetime of memories to get this place on the market but some houses don't want to be sold and Louise and Mark Mark's home has other plans for both of them I this one sounds really good it kind of reminds me a little bit of a Riley Sager's book Home Before Dark but in Grady Hendrix writing and I've also read his book Final Girls Support Group which I enjoyed I know a lot of people didn't but I'm hoping that this one is a little bit better than that. And I love a good haunted house story. The next two books I got from Target that same day I went shopping with my mom. And I found some treasures there. Like I said, I only got two. And they're both romance books. But that's okay. And the first one is Maggie Moves On by Lucy Score. This one just sounds really good and I'm excited to get to it. I recently read a Lucy Score book and 
I yeah and I really liked her writing for that one but I'm just gonna read a little bit of this it says can these opposites turn up the heat without burning down the house so I think it's gonna be like enemies to friends to lovers and I love that trope and it just sounds like it's gonna be a good read and the last one that I got that day shopping is the dead romantics by Ashley Poston I've heard some really fun things about this book and it's a short read but it says Florence Day is the ghostwriter for one of the most prolific romance authors in the industry and she has a problem. After a terrible breakup, she no longer believes in love. It's as good as dead. When her new editor, a too handsome mountain of a man, won't give her an extension on her book deadline, Florence prepares to kiss her career goodbye. But then she gets a phone call she never wanted to receive and she must return home for the first time in a decade to help her family bury her beloved father. For 10 years, she's run from the town that never understood her, and even though she misses the sounds of a warm southern night and her eccentric, loving family and their funeral parlor, she can't bring herself to stay. Her father's gone, yet everything else feels the same, and she hates it. Until she finds a ghost standing at the funeral parlor's front door, just as broad and infuriatingly handsome as ever, and he's just as confused about why he's there as she is. Romance is most certainly dead, but so is her new editor, and his unfinished business will have her second-guessing everything she's ever known about love stories. This sounds like it's going to be a fun read, and I'm hoping it's going to be funny also. And the last book I ended up getting last night, and I'm so excited because it, this is the last book in this trilogy by this author, and I know she's taking a break for a little bit, and I'm just excited to get to this one. And if you want me to do a reading vlog reading this, let me know in the comments down below because I would gladly do that. And the book that I got is Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. This is her newest release that just came out a couple of days ago. I am so excited to read this. If you don't know what this is about, it is about shadow hunters and they hunt demons and they protect humans from the demons. And... I absolutely love this book and can't wait to get to it. It is huge. I think this is her biggest book in this series, but I'm ready to tackle this because I've been waiting a whole year to get to this book ever since the last one came out and I loved it and the way that one left off was crazy. But yeah, let me know if you want me to do a reading vlog reading this and I would gladly do that. That is it for this video. If you have read any of the books that I just hauled let me know down in the description what you thought about the books and I am so excited to get to them and which books you would like me to get to first and like I said at the beginning don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe with that notification bell and you'll be the first to know when I am posting and as always keep on reading people bye